been part of the rapid um, trial on Ward 11 and I've got to say it's been absolutely um, excellent for our service. So the rapid study is really great for the patients as well as the parents because it means that they can pick up the babies out of the beds and cuddle them up because that's why I get time out it. So it's, it's going to revolutionise the way we monitor patients basically. It is a total revolution on monitoring patients that I say want to get heard in the farm for one of our walk up and down the corridor um, and having all these worries tax me out just to set her up whereas if she just had this and the lot it's going to be much easier. It's a lot more effective um, for the parents as well as the babies. Okay. At the moment um, patients have wireless monitoring um, which really helps with patient care um, so and for parents to sort of help with the bonding process with children and babies. At the moment we are doing the three by two sides, you know, the area plan is to move on to transitionism and blood pressures and that is all available on the system to be added on but we had to start somewhere and we had to, to feasibility study. We needed to make sure that it works, it works and does what we want it to do and it is actually very official and doable which we have achieved. We're actually getting very accurate data and it's minute by minute and it's in real time um, in comparison to the monitoring that we usually do via um, other means. It, is, it has been doing so if we have a lot of data we, um, and it's just step by step moving forward now. I was looking for a device that, first of all, is um, very friendly to the to the patient, is lightweight and non-obtrusive, um, and also that I could obviously access and uh, remotely view the data, control the data, etc. So um, I, I found these features in the the iSenses, but also not just these features, but also the, the form factor having the device be uh, baby friendly in the sense that um, the, the size and the shape, it's it's clear that, that there was a lot put in behind it to be meant for the pediatric population. I think that this can really transform the way that we do sleep research. So sleep occurs in a context with bedtime routines, natural caregiver interactions, and favorite snuggly toys. Stripping that away and having kids go into a sleep lab for a polysomnography has implications for the quality of our data and the conclusions that we can draw from that data. It's really my goal that in the future that parents of uh, all NICU graduates will be able to have uh, access to a, a remote monitoring platform that, that enables them to, to know that they're not going home by themselves. I have witnessed the ease and fidelity with which this equipment can be used in the home by parents who have no specific medical expertise. And while my participants are not required to leave the sensors all day as on all day as well as all night, about half the parents have chosen to do so out of convenience. And I believe this technology could greatly improve patients' comfortability as they undergo continuous care or data collection. Uh, it's the, often the most difficult decision we make as neonatologists is when is that date of discharge? When is it safe to go home? And it's, it's clearly unknown when we're having this high uh, morbidity and uh, mortality rates. So uh, my goal is to really work on those numbers. And I believe that's the future of innovation in my field is improving the outcomes, utilizing tools in the home.